Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well today we're going to talk about the Divi Full Width Header Module. It's great. Uh, you can create a great little quick hero section in no time at all, just like the one we've got here, this purple section. And it comes with a little icon if you want it. You click on it, it'll take you down to whatever's below it. Really easy to do. And we're just using the inbuilt features of the fantastic Divi theme for this today. So let's get started. I'm going to enable my visual builder so we can build on the front end. Once enabled, let's go down and get rid of this section and we'll start from scratch. So I'll add a new section. I'm going to make it a full width section, the purple button right here. And here's our full width header right there. Now, as you can see, it's put in a little title and a bit of content and a button there. I haven't got anything real to say, so I'll leave most of that intact as it is. Of course, you can put in a subtitle if you want to, too. And if you want to add a second button, just simply type in something here. And as you can see, that's added a second button for us right there. If you scroll on down, of course, we've got our content section here where you can put in whatever content you've got. Like anything else, you can align it and highlight things and link things if you need to, like any other text module. You can also add images in here if you need to. Moving on down, this is where things get a little interesting right here to the images tab. We're still on the content tab at the top there, but we're down in images. You can actually add a logo image to the top of this or whatever image you choose. And there's the little logo up there. And you can add an image to the actual section itself just below here. And this will sort of put it beside our text. As you can see, that's put that image over there. OK, that's great. Got a lot done and it didn't take long. We can go into the link one next. Here's where you put your link in for your buttons. I'll just put a hashtag in there because I haven't really got anywhere to take them. Obviously, if you're taking them away from your site, different site, open it in a new tab so yours stays open. If not, you're linking to your own site, leave it in the same window there. Now, if you want the whole module, apart from the two buttons here, to link to somewhere else, you can put it in under here. But I don't want to, so I'll leave that as is. Great. Now for the background, like any other module background, you can make it as interesting or as boring as you like. Let's put a color in and an image also. I'll use the same one as I used before. And we can't really read that too well over there, so let's blend it. You can use parallax effects if you want to and they've got CSS and they've got true parallax. True parallax means that they're both moving but at slightly different rates. So she is actually moving at a slightly different rate. CSS parallax is basically fixed position. So she's going to stay where she is and everything else is going to move around her like that. But we're not using parallax for this today. I want to use a blend. So I'm going to turn parallax to off. And if we go down, right at the bottom, there's a blend. And there's all kind of cho to choose from here. The one I'm probably going to use is multiply, which multiplies that purple color we put into the background with the image itself. And that makes that very readable, nice high con contrast. And I like that. But you've got some amazing effects here. If you play with them, you can get some quite psychedelic and really interesting things going on. But like I say, I'm probably going to use the multiply. Great. OK, so we're done with our content at the moment. It's looking good. Obviously, we're going to want it at the top of the page when we're finished. Let's go to our design tab next. Now here, you, what we're looking at is a regular left hand layout. If you wanted to, you could have a centered layout. 
or as my example was before you can have a right hand layout just for fun I'm going to leave it as a left hand layout if you want to you can make this thing full height by flipping the little switch here and as you can see it'll be a full screen height for you I don't want that particularly with this one I'm going to add a bit of spacing top and bottom and just below there's a scroll down icon if you want it'll put a little icon there that when you click on it it'll scroll you to whatever is below this so let's have one of those for fun and let's change it to this one perhaps or even this one okay and of course you can change your color here and you can change the actual size of the icon right there now if we go down to the next one with image this is this image but you've got to remember it's also the logo so anything you do to this image will also happen to the logo so you can give it rounded corners and borders but I really don't want to give anything to my images I'm happy with the way that they are at the moment so let's go on down next thing is an overlay now I've used blend so I don't need an overlay but if you just got a regular image in the background perhaps if you had the parallax effect going you could use an over overlay over the top to darken it down and then go into the color and you can pull the slider up down for opacity or see-throughness to get it to where you can see your text and everything the way that you want to but I really don't need mine today so I just turn it as transparent okay text again we can al align our text light colors fine I don't want a dark color on there title text we can do separately and you Divi has got I have no idea the amount of fonts it's got but it's it literally is a hundreds and hundreds of fonts choose from I'm gonna leave mine on the default but uh, you're never gonna get stuck for an interesting font let's make it bold let's make it capital let's make it maybe a little bit bigger and if you wanted to you could align it but I'm happy with where mine is at the moment that's fine and if we go on down you've got one for the body text you've got one for the subtitle text too let's make that slightly bigger perhaps let's make it semi bold there we go and you've also got custom styles for your buttons if you wanted to change the color just flip the switch to on and give it what you want to give it for the colors and you can do hover colors with a little arrow right there if you hit the little arrow common to most of these when the black legending hover over and those icons will appear if you want to give your button a different background color and border color regular state and then hover state this is how you do it right here but I'm I'm gonna leave mine just exactly like that which is the default Divi version which is a white outline and white text I quite like that but what I am gonna do is use a little bit of CSS now this is entirely up to you you can't really tell too much there but if we look at this on a tablet or a mobile phone you'll see that they're not exactly the same width I like to have my buttons all the same width so I'm going to write a bit of code for this and don't let that put you off any code that I write I'll put the below the video and you're welcome to use it and change it to your needs and again you can change your button fonts and styles and everything here and the button icon that's fine for me the little icon that appears there okay I don't think there's much more I want to do button two obviously do want to give it a bit of spacing more space top and bottom and I'm going to flip it to the top of the page obviously as well so let's give it say padding top let's give it 150 top just put in the 150 it'll put in the picks for you if you'd rather use percentage or VH you can just select the PX and write in your percentage or VH there hit the little chain and it'll do the opposite side for you too great but I think that's going to be a little too much on on a tablet and mobile so let's have a look at the responsive 
So again, if you hover over the dark legending to get the little icons up, we'll hit the little mobile phone right there. We're on desktop at the moment, so we'll look on tablet. Yeah, that's a bit too much for me. And there you can see the buttons aren't the same width. I'm going to change that in a minute. So on tablet, let's make this just 50 pics. Yeah, that's fine. And let's have a look on mobile. It's OK. We could take it down even a little bit more if we wanted to, say, 20 pics. Yeah, that's fine. Great. OK, well, I don't want any borders or box shadows, and I'm not going to use any filters on it. So the only other thing I want to do is this piece of code here. So let's save this, and it will return to desktop mode. Let's put this at the top of the page. And to do this, I'm going to go down to the bottom here. It's a little purple button with the three dots on it. Click on it, and it will expand. Over here, we've got a little icon that if you've ever used Elementor, you, you see this, and it'll give you the sections. So I just need to flip the bottom section up above the top section. Of course, you can grab them by these and move them, but when you're moving big sections, I find it easier to do with this. Great, so we've got our hero section at the top now. All right, let's write our little bit of code and make these buttons the same size, and we're all done. Like I say, this is purely optional. If you don't want to do this, don't do it but it's really easy. So I'm going to go into the module. I'm going to go over to Advanced. I'm going to go to Custom CSS. And if we roll down, you'll find your buttons, button one and button two. So I think, try 150, let's say 175 picks. So I'm going to say width 175 pixels. As you can see, it's made button 175 wide. But it doesn't look like that text is in the middle anymore. And I definitely want it in the middle. So I'm going to add another line. And I'm going to say text align center. That will pop the text back in the middle for us. Semicolon. Great. So what I need to do is copy that over to number two, and they will both be exactly the same width. It doesn't matter how much writing you've got in there. So obviously change that number. I'll put this below the video, but change that number to your needs. And I think we're done. Let's save this. And we'll have a quick look on the tablet. See those buttons are nicely sized there. And we'll have a look on mobile. Yep, that's fine too. Go back and exit our visual builder. And there's our little hero section, a couple of call to action buttons, which is great. And like I say, you can link the whole module if you wanted to. It's got our little logo there and an image. Click on this little chevron there. It'll scroll down to the next section. So that's pretty cool. So that's Divi's full width header section for you. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.